Before we get started, please specify the program that you want to use this for. To speed up or slow down your footage in Premiere, you have two choices. You have a more basic one and a more advanced one. So for my example, I'm going to be using this lyric video that I made a while back. If you want to watch the video, it's actually on my YouTube channel. And if you want to watch it, there is a thumbnail up here. Just click on that. Or if you're on a mobile device, the link is in the description. So to start it, let's go over here and we're going to start with the basic way of doing things. So if you right click this footage that you want to speed up or slow down and go to speed or duration and let's click this and set it to 200. You can see here that the speed is now made twice as fast. So everything is a lot more squeaky and a lot more unbearable. Let's say we wanted to make it twice as slow, then you can guess it, go to speed and duration and set it to 50, a half of what it was before. There we go. This has made everything a lot more low and a lot more long in time. The more advanced way to speed up or slow down your footage in Premiere is called time remapping. So to do that, highlight the footage that you want to speed up or slow down and go to effect controls. Then go to time remapping here. We can expand that by clicking the little arrow and this gives us a bit of a timeline. So what time remapping is used for is to speed up and slow down certain parts in your video. So let's say you wanted this part of the video to be slower and you wanted this part of the video to be faster. What we would have to do is go to the very beginning of the part where we want to slow it down or speed it up and we would have to place a keyframe by using this little button right here. This creates a keyframe in our timeline up on our effect controls. So if we go farther on the timeline to the very end of where you want the effect to go and click this button again this will give us a little bit of layout of how we can affect the speed and duration. So right now, this doesn't affect anything in, in of the time. What we have to do is click this here. You see, if you hover over this line here, it gives you an arrow symbol going up and down. So if you want to speed up your footage in between this part of the footage, click this, drag it up, and then this will shorten that footage showing that it's sped up this part of the footage. And if you want to make it even more professional, you can smooth up the speed. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but if you click part of this keyframe right here and you drag it along, this is going to slowly speed it up to the speed that you want to have. So the, the whole point of this is to have it so it doesn't give such a harsh speed up, so it doesn't just go normal speed and then suddenly it's two times the speed. It's a little bit difficult on the eyes, not too much, but if you want to just adjust it that much, then you can put this effect on there. Also, if you want to slow down the speed in that certain way, you can take this one, drag it up over there, and you can affect it as much as you possibly want. And you can't just do this once, you can do this as many times as you want. Let's say we wanted to speed up or slow, let's say we want to slow down this part. All you would have to do is click this keyframe here, go a little bit farther to the very end, and click another keyframe. Now all we have to do is click this, drag it down to slow it down. This made it a lot, a lot farther. You can see here that the footage is a lot more slower. You can do this as many times as you want throughout the footage. To speed up or slow down your footage in After Effects, you have two choices, a more basic one and a more advanced one. So we're just going to start with the basic one. So right click your footage that you want to speed up or slow down and go to Time, Time Stretch. You can see that this opens up a time stretch window. Now we're going to start with maybe making it go twice as fast. So you can see this number here is 100. If we want to make it go twice as fast, set it to 50 or whatever half the number there is. We can see now that our footage takes up half of the composition, so everything that is seen here will go twice as fast. If we want to slow it two times, then go to time, time stretch, and set it to 200. If we want to set it to go three times slower, you can guess it 300. That's the more basic way of doing it. 
The more advanced way to slow down and speed up your footage in After Effects is called time remapping. So once again, go to time, enable time remapping. And you can see it gives us a little bit of a control that we can use here. So time remapping is basically if you want to make this part of the video, for example, go a lot faster and then you want to make another part go slower, this part go faster, slower. It really allows you every single bit of edit that you possibly need to be doing. So to do one of these edits, we're going to go to a certain part of the video where we want to slow it down. So I want this part right here to be slower than it already is. So I'm going to go to the very start of that part. Click this keyframe button here and this will place a keyframe. This does nothing so far. We have to move the keyframes around once we're ready to be able to speed up and slow down. So we're going to go to the very end of the part we want to be slowed down and we're going to click this button again. So now we have everything ready to be moved. So if I want to make this part in between these two keyframes slow down or speed up, I would have to click this keyframe and this keyframe right over here. Oh, that messed everything up. We have to select both of these keyframes and if I want to slow it down, I would have to stretch these two keyframes so that the space in between these two keyframes is larger. So now this is going to be going slower than it was before. If I want to speed it up, I have to take this keyframe, both of the keyframes, and bring it closer to one another. This will make it speed up. Now you can do this as many times as you want. If I wanted to make, let's say, I don't know, maybe the text that pops up here, I want to make this go on faster. I could do this, then I go ahead a little bit more, and let's just say right here and put another keyframe. Now select this keyframe over here, the back one and right here, and if I want it to go faster, then I have to push these together that so now this part of the text goes faster if I wanted to make it go slower just do this do that this is probably the most movable form of time stretching and anything you possibly would want you can do it as many times as you want and it's incredibly helpful if you're working on very big projects so that's all I have for today if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of the video in the comments and if you want to subscribe go right ahead if you want more videos like this, then you can click on some of the thumbnails right here or the links to all the videos shown are in the description.